I just wanted to show you um, this mini album that I just finished from our vacation back in April and we're going to be going on another vacation this fall so I wanted to make sure I got this got the pictures in the book and so that when I have my pictures from my other vacation I can go ahead and start working on those but this is one of those snap mini albums it's kind of canvas it's got the chevron which I thought was really nice and it has a lot of texture on it. So I'm not gonna go ahead and embellish the cover or anything like that because I just kinda like it the way it is. And I have a little label here and I put, uh, if you can see it there, Las Vegas, April 2015. I printed that on my computer. And um, I wanted to show you some of the things that I used for the mini album. So I ordered different size of these snap uh, pockets. And mostly I used, well I only used I think maybe one of these uh, five by sevens and then basically I stuck to the four three by fours and the two uh, four by sixes. I think there was also one that had two three by fours and one four by six but I ordered different sizes and I figure I can you know you get quite a few of them um, you get ten in each um, packet that you order so I figure I can use them for other vacations because they're really good for you know mini albums. Um, so I used those and then as far as the collection that I used I had got this Project Life um, Becky Higgins uh, collection which is called the Inspire edition and I've had it for a while I use it you know every now and then along with my um, my kit that I get every month from Scraptastic but I wanted to try to use some of this up because I have it and it's so pretty and I really like some of the sayings on it so I went ahead and used that in here and also I had a six by six paper pad that I think the only thing really that I used out of here was these little um sayings here I kind of I cut them out and um used some of those so that's pretty much all I used. I really didn't need the 6x6 six six paper pad, but, <clears throat> you know, I looked at it and said I have to have that when I bought it. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I used those. And then also I bought the um, stickers that came with the Inspire collection. So I used quite a bit of those and I hadn't been using those up and they were in my stash. So I figured, you know, I really want to use these up. So I used those. I used some of these Teresa Collins little mini alphas which were in black, so I used those. I had a thing of this linen uh, canvasy type thread, uh, and I figured that would go good because the trip was Las Vegas, although we didn't concentrate on gambling and things like that, but it was kind of fun to go in the casinos, but it was more like to meet my boys, see them, spend time with them, and also check out the mountains and scenery. So um, you can kind of see the theme as I'm going along here with some of the embellishments <clears throat> that, um, I wanted to use so I also ordered these uh, flowers I think I got them at Michael's but they're like the same texture as the album and they're kind of burlapy so I used some of those and then this is just a couple scraps of the cardstock that I used but it was like craft cardstock that I thought would kind of blend in with the theme of you know mountains desert you know dirt <laughs> things like that so I went ahead and used some of that I had this laying around Ellie's studio, these little bits and pieces of ephemera pack, and I tried to incorporate some of these in, and I pretty much almost used the whole pack. So it was just something I had in my stash, and I thought, you know what, I need, really need to use these up. And then I used some of these by American Crafts. These are the Hello, and they're burlap letter stickers. And you can see I used, well, I used quite a bit of them, but, you know, it's nice to have these things used up in your stash. So I used some of those. So I put these aside and then I'll go ahead and show you my album. So this is the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the beginning of my album. And these albums are so cool, you guys. Um, I bought the album and it came with a bunch of inserts. So this was one of the inserts um, that it came with. And at first I was like, okay, what do I do with that? But I kind of like it. It's just different. Um, and it's just kind of the beginning of the album. And then it came with these paper inserts that were already cut like this. And as you can see, I went ahead and distressed a lot of the edges. And the other thing that I did, which um, I'll go ahead and show you too here, is I, on my vacation, I decided that I would do a quick journal every day about the things that we did. And then when I went to make this album, I went ahead and put this, these, these are the inserts that came with it. I put these in my printer and I printed out the days um, and I put it in like a typewriter font because I thought that looked kind of cool. So I think I'm going to do that with my next vacation. It was actually a really good idea 
you know, that way I, I know exactly what we did on those days. It didn't take long at the end of the day to sit down. Cause you know, when you're on vacation, at the end of the day, you sit down, you relax, you go to your computer and I just typed it in. So, you know, what's funny is I'm looking back now going, I'm so glad I wrote this down. Not that it really, I mean, some of these details are just, you know, little things that we did, but I'm just really happy that I did it because I have now documentation and, um, things that we did. So, like I said, this is the first little page. And then I went ahead and I put this, um, I used Microsoft Word and I went in and I wanted a, t a big title page and I wanted something cool with like shading and designs. And I actually did this in Microsoft Word and I did the coloring. So basically I wanted my theme to be like browns and you know, the dirty type look because um, it sounds weird, but we were in the desert and it was just so pretty. And so as I went along in the album, I decided that that's kind of what I wanted. I didn't figure that out right away. So you'll see the first couple pages don't really look like they're cohesive, but I'm okay with that. So this is it, it says Las Vegas trip, April 17th through April 23rd, 2015. And I just love the way that came out. Um, and then I distressed the edges with Tim Holtz and it was the antique color. Um, and then this is my first page. This is uh, Friday when we were doing all of our traveling and I saved this because when we got there that evening, we met my boys um, at this buffet and we went ahead and had them, um, we had a nice meal together. So um, that was that. And I just saved like some ephemera for, from the trip and incorporated some of it in um, to my album. So this is where I'll, I say like I used some of my uh, Scraptastic kit, which I love. But, you know, once I did a few pages, I realized I wanted to kind of go a different route. And I mean, that's OK, I think for, you know, you change your mind as you go. But so here we are on the flight. And then these are some of the views of, I believe, the Grand Canyon when we were flying over. So me and my husband, and so that was that. And then our, I took our tickets, our plane tickets, and put them in here. And then um, another photo there. And we actually decided on our bucket list was to fly first class. Now, you know, we're not rich and famous, obviously, but we just said, you know what, we're going to go ahead and try it. So we flew Virgin Airlines, which we've never flown before, but it's actually one of the airlines that only flies like to certain places. So it was flying to Las Vegas from Boston. So we trip, took a three or four hour trip to Boston and then we flew um, on Virgin and they had first class. So, oh my gosh, if you can ever do that, do it. It was so fun. So we took some pictures. I have some other pictures that are in my regular Project Life album before I started this. So I don't have all of them in here, but um, there's my husband. He was still in school. He hadn't um, got his degree yet. So he was actually working. That's why it says blah. He was working on one of his papers while we were flying. And look at me. I was, I had a blanket. It was all cozy. That's why I liked this good night um, good night card. And then lose your head in the clouds was in the project life inspiration kit, which was perfect because we had this picture. Um, I took a photo when we were up there in the clouds, So I thought that was kind of cool. And then these little project life, um, or maybe they're snap. I think they may be snap, but they're the little flip things. So, um, here my husband was blowing up my, my pillow for my neck. And then these are just some of the things, um, they have this mood lighting on Virgin airlines. It's like purpley pink. It's so pretty. And these big puffy seats and they had like, um, vibration and heat and massage and yeah, come on. That was seriously the best. And then this was just a little text that I was doing with my sister because I was kind of freaked out about the flight and I was writing to her while we were having some turbulation, but it, it was great. And then here, some more photos of up in the air. And then this is where I started incorporating all of the Project Life Inspire collection in there. And then I decided to distress all the edges so things would look cohesive. So this is obviously a Las Vegas sign. And then we had um, this really nice room with gorgeous views of one of these big hotels. Um, and then they had these, I don't really know what this is called here, but people were... Um, bungee jumping down off of that and we would watch them I was like oh no I'm not doing that but anyways it was really cool we looked out our window and we saw mountains and um, this was the west end of the strip so it wasn't where you could look out and see all the lights and the casinos and stuff that was on the east end but that was okay we got a suite it was nice we had a kitchen and a living room and it was nice because we could make our own meals if we wanted to and oh my god look at the bedroom oh hello in the bedroom we had a biggest hot tub well not hot tub it's like a jet I guess it's called a jacuzzi 
And um, it was so deep that when you sat in it, it came up to your neck. I'm not exaggerating. It, this picture doesn't do it justice, but yeah, we use that every night at the end of the night. You know, you do a lot of walking and stuff, and I have a lot of back and neck issues, so um, just from my job. And that was amazing. So I wrote best tub ever. I did some uh, editing on Pick Monkey, And then here, when we finally met up with my um, son, Zach, he's stationed out there. Uh, we took some pictures, we took him out to eat, and he was being silly here. And then here's when we went to the buffet. It was at Caesar's Palace. My son and his wife were, were driving out there from New Mexico where they're stationed, and we, uh, they were going to a wedding. So it was a perfect time for me to see both my boys at one time because I don't see them maybe once or twice a year. So that was so much fun. Caesar's Palace has the best buffet ever. And then here's some of the journaling I did for Saturday and Sunday and just some little, a little cluster I did down here. And then these were uh, pictures from Saturday and us kind of getting a quick breakfast in the room before we headed out. And I think Saturday, let's see, what did we do Saturday? That was the day, oh, we went to Hoover Dam. So um, this was just one of the photos that I edited of some flowers in the middle of the desert that were grown, which were really pretty. And this was pictures from our um, room. And then here was the bridge that goes out to Hoover Dam, which was really cool. And I decided to cut the photo in half just to make it look a little cool. And over here, welcome to Nevada sign. And oh my God, look at the view of the Hoover Dam. Amazing. I did all my photos with my S5, it, the Galaxy. It takes amazing photos. And this was us on the bridge. And then this is a little lizard friend that we found, which was so cute. So I wrote lizard here. Um, and we went into, I'm trying to think, I think this was the maybe the Venetian. You go into these hotels and they look like you're outside with clouds up ahead, up above, I mean, and one of the meals that we had. Yeah, so that was lose your head in the clouds. That was also another appropriate uh, card for when we went shopping in this really cool mall. And this was just some random photos of my husband and I doing silly photos in the mall. And then this was the journaling I did uh, for Monday. And Monday was the day that we went to Bonnie Springs Ranch in Red Rock Canyon, which was our favorite day. I am in love with today. I wrote, I mean, I put that stick on there because it was totally appropriate. So I just love these. You guys got to get one of these for vacations because they come with these inserts and you can, you know, you don't have to actually put it in your printer and print it out. You could just write, you could actually write in it. I hate my writing, handwriting, so I like to print it. Um, and then here's Red Rock Canyon. And I decided to go ahead and tear this paper up and then use some distress ink on the edges. Um, that's the same uh, Tim Holtz uh, antique. And I just thought it looked like mountains and I thought that was kind of cool. So I went ahead and did that. And then this is when we were driving through the desert in Red Rock Canyon and we drove up and there was donkeys and burrows um, on the side of the road. And this guy here, look you guys, he or she came up to us and put his head in the, the car window. Come on, is that too cute or what? So of course I had to have a ton of photos. I only put a couple in here because you know, you can only put so many photos in these albums, but he is adorable. He was like chewing on my shirt and um, so cute. And then this photo was, okay, I am in love with this. I'm gonna make it a little closer here. You can see this. I took this photo with my S5 and I put a quote on it. It says, slow down and enjoy life. It's not only the scenery you miss by going too fast, you also miss the sense of where you're going and why. I just thought that was so appropriate, but look at the bird I captured in here in this, this view, absolutely gorgeous. And then I did the mountain thing with the paper here. And I just thought that was so nice. Um, one of my favorite photos, that and the donkey. So, and then moving on here, you can see here on this photo that we were stopping on the side of the road and you could see me here taking a picture in the mirror of the donkey that I saw, which I thought was really cool. It's just gorgeous out there. I liked that better than the casinos. We did, we did visit the casinos and everything, but I thought this was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And this was one of the rocks, which was huge. So of course I had to stand by it so you could see the, the size of me compared to the rock, another pretty photo. And then we went to Bonnie Springs Ranch. I also decided to 
um, do some of this twine, which kind of looked, you know, natural and um, kind of crafty looking with this craft paper here throughout my photo um, album here too. And this place was really cool. It wasn't, a lot of it wasn't open when we went, but it was just kind of nice to go and look. And okay, so this is funny. So we went by and there's these badgers. I think they're badgers. And I had to actually imitate the badger here. So if you can see that, I'm kind of silly, but it was fun. Isn't he cute? I thought it was so cute. Oh, and then look at this card from where I stand. That was like totally appropriate. And then of course we met up with some goats and I love animals. So I fell in love with them. Got some photos of him. This little one has like quite an underbite. So cute. And then my husband, the little deer there was eating his shorts and I was playing like hide and seek with the other one. Um, and then this thing here, this is kind of cool. My husband fell in love with this. It was like a fake. They have like these shows with like a fake. It sounds kind of gross, but hanging. So it says 1130 melodrama, 12 hanging, two o'clock melodrama, 230 hanging. So this card that says anything that anything can happen. I thought that was quite cute. And then this take one, um, little car ephemera came out of that little pack I was showing you guys about. So then moving on here, so we don't make this too long. There was just some fun things that we did when we were there. And then these two cards, because when you stop and look around, I thought were really cute because really we were driving through. I made this in black and white just to make it, you know, a little different, add some interest to my book. Um, just a little donkey's hanging out. And once again, I am in love with today. I liked that. And then this night um, we met my son for dinner and he showed us his new tattoo. And uh, it was just nice having some, some alone time with Zach. And then this was Tuesday, which we went to um, the Venetian Hotel and walked around. And I put the name of it here. I took some pictures of me by the, it's supposed to be like Italy. And um, they have this little boat that goes around and you can get in and take a ride, which we didn't do. But um, the bathrooms there were like a palace. So I think in every bathroom, if no one was around, I took a selfie because you can't really appreciate the bath. I mean, it was like a pa palace. It was absolutely gorgeous, gold and clean and really, really cool. And then here they had these, these people, you guys look at this. They had these fake people and they look at, look at her. Yeah. You should, they don't move. And at first I thought it was a statue and I, okay, I have issues with like those mannequins in, in stores and stuff and um, long story. But anyways, so we were going along and all of a sudden there was a man one and he moved and it totally freaked me out. And my husband was laughing um, and then he felt bad. But for some reason I was able to get close enough to her without it freaking me out and take a photo. So I had to get a photo of that. I know it sounds silly, but I, it's like kind of like people that are afraid of clowns. Yeah, I can't, I can't deal with the mannequin thing. No. Anyway, so here's just a photo. We got some frozen yogurt. And this is one of the photos. We, we did go in the casino. We got some pictures of the nightlife. And I did this little mountain thing there. But look at that. It's totally gorgeous. And then here we went to see, we took my son um, to see Jeff Dunham. Funny. Oh, my gosh. Funny, funny, funny. We had such a blast that night. And I journaled here about um, Wednesday, um, which I think was when, yeah, when we went to see Jeff Dunham. And I put this little flower here and wrote fun. And then here is when my, we, my, my son took us uh, for the day to see where he worked. And his um, we went on base and saw the jets that he works on because he's an aviator technician. He works on the fighter jets. So um, I decided where it's all desert and dry that I would go ahead and just dress this page to make it look kind of like dirt. And, um, and then I wrote Zach's work, and it's a beautiful day. So he's on um, Nellis Air Force Base, and this is him and his truck. Uh, and I went ahead and just did this little mountain thing here with some other embellishments and wrote Zach. Um, and here is, we saw his, his first real vehicle that actually runs. And then I love this picture of him and I. We were hugging. It's so sweet. And he says this dune buggy. I guess him and his friends used this out in the the desert and stuff. So I got some pictures of that. And then here's the end. And then we always, whenever we go on vacation now, we always take a sad photo. It's just kind of something fun that my husband and I do. Um, but I'll show you up close, but it's basically, whoop, sorry about that. It's basically us looking really, really sad. And we do that at the end of every trip. And then we kind of have uh, photos of that at the end of every trip. And then this card here says, don't be sad because it's over. Be grateful because it happened. And I thought that was pretty appropriate because yeah, you're sad that 
your vacation's over and you have to get back to real life. But at the same time, it's so nice that it's happened. So um, journaling on the day that we went home. And then, of course, we had to have Polly in the end here. Um, Polly was so happy to see us when we bought her a new toy. Uh, so I went ahead and this says, you are, you are so much sunshine in every square inch, which is totally true because as soon as we saw her, we were happy. And then I put home here. And then in these, in these um, Simple Story Snap albums, they come with this little thing in the end and you actually can put your ephemera I just put a couple of things in here I went had gone for a massage and um the girl had you know sent me a sent me a little card saying I hope you enjoyed your massage and then Polly's little report cards from the groomer in the kennel so I have some other stuff to put in here but I just thought it was cool because if you don't have room to put it in your album you can just tuck it in the back so I totally encourage you guys to get one of these albums if you really want to try to do a, like a like a mini vacation album um, because it was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for um, coming to this journey with me and I will see you guys soon. Bye YouTube.